Hello, I'm Atuba George and I'm so glad to be bringing God's truth to you. Can we pray? Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for we receive our daily bread today. And I declare as your word comes forth, burdens are being lifted, yokes are being destroyed right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, even right now, diverse kinds of manifestations are taking place. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. I just heard the Holy Spirit tell me to say this. Believe right now that you can be healed. It doesn't matter what kind of condition you are in. <clears throat> If you would just believe right now that God can bring healing, you will be healed. Oh, I'm telling you the truth. I, I see someone with a child, and that child seemed to have a brain condition. It's a little boy, a, a, a little child. And, and, and you have, you've already been told that a child the, the, the brain of the child didn't form properly. There's just something wrong somewhere. And, and meaning that child is not going to grow normal. If you are close to that child, thank you, Holy Spirit. Can you just stretch your hands towards that child? And I want us to pray and agree together. Father, you are the creator. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yep. See, so you run into that child now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Are you ready? Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> ah, a reconstruction is taking place right now. Right now. A reconstruction is taking place. Holy Spirit, you're the one who created every cell in our body. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I feel the anointing of God so strong right now. There's a recreation taking place in that child right now. And hear me. That child is growing up perfectly. <laughs> yes, 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 he's healed. Yes, he's healed right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, even you, you were feeling the power of God in your hands. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Listen to me. That child is growing up normally. I'm telling you, he will be, he will be so normal, the doctors will be amazed. <laughs> Praise God. And hear me? When that child is five years old, you are going to do a celebration and share the testimony of that child. Now, that's an instruction from the Lord. Take note of it. Go write it down somewhere and do as the Lord has said. Praise God. All right. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? First Corinthians chapter 12. It's so good. It's so good to have the Holy Spirit. I wonder how people live without Him. Now, can you explain this? You know, sometimes, you know, the Bible says the spirit of the prophet is subject to the prophet. Now, sometimes I'm ministering, and then it comes like that, like, oh, Holy Spirit, can we just finish this up? Now, because he didn't say, you must do it. And I just bless him for what he's doing. There are lots of people who, who get healed without me even mentioning. As long as you're watching this broadcast, it is time to be healed. You just receive your healing. Thank you, Holy Spirit. <clears throat> oh, bless the Lord. Verse 10, 1 Corinthians chapter 12. It says, to another the workings of miracles, to another prophecy, to another descending. Now, prophecy, you know what prophecy is? Now, prophecy, you will see prophecy, talk more on prophecy in the next chapter, chapter, um, sorry, in chapter 14. But, you see, it means speaking by the influence of the Holy Spirit and telling things and then things to come, things. It's just edifying people. Like, like as I'm doing now, teaching the word of God, I'm actually prophesying. See, all the gifts of the Spirit, they are working. 
You don't, you don't start looking for which one, which one, which one. What do you need? Take it from the Holy Ghost. Praise God. That's how it works. Now, now I want to talk about the sending of spirits. Now, this one is very vital for you as a believer. Now, this is what helps you to differentiate between right teaching and wrong teaching. For example, it says, no one speaking by the Spirit of God can call Jesus a cost. And everyone who will say that Jesus is Lord can only say that by the Holy Spirit. Now, so you, walking by the descending of Spirit, can tell, you can differentiate. Because sometimes, you know, like the Bible says, Satan has transformed himself as the angel of light. I'll give you an example. You remember Paul in, in the book of Acts. Paul and Silas, you know, when they got to um, Philippi. Now, they were, the Bible says, they were, in every morning when they go to pray, there's this lady who always, you know, when they, when they are passing, she begins to say, these men, are the men who are going to show you the words, uh, the, the word that leads to salvation. And the Bible says she did that for many days. Did you see that? She did that for many days. Now, how come she did that for many days and Paul did nothing? But one day, Paul just knew that this is not right. Now, I want you to picture that now, for example. It says, talking about the sending of spirits now. You're walking on the road, and, and, and you know you're a preacher, and, and you know you're doing the work of God. And you're walking there, and someone comes and says, Hey, hey, everybody, everybody. This man, fear him, oh, he's a man of God. He's a man of God. He is going to bring mighty deliverance to you people. Now, Normally, you say, oh, ah, that's the Spirit of God speaking. He has already gone ahead of us. I mean, you go share the testimony. Do you know, even when we're walking, somebody, somebody that we don't even, we've not even started preaching, somebody started speaking out loud that we are God sent. God has sent us to deliver the land. I mean, we knew that the Holy Spirit has gone ahead before us. That's how Paul and Silas felt. Praise God. You know, they, they felt, oh, wow, I mean, I mean, God has made our work. No, you know, Paul, you see, no, you see, that's the thing. You know, they'll be talking among them. Say, that's the thing when you go preach by the leading of the Holy Spirit. You see, we were trying to go to so place and that place and that place. But, but when the Lord said, come over to Macedonia, we knew the Lord brought. Can't you see that he has gone ahead of us? I'm sure this is how they were coming until one day the Holy Spirit said, Paul, yes, sir, that's not me. How? She's not speaking by me. Really? But she's saying something good. Yes, because she has an agenda. <laughs> what could the agenda of the devil be? You know, sometimes we don't realize these things. The end results. So like they say, the end justifies the means. When someone says he is prophesying by the Spirit of God, when someone says he is, the, what is the end result? Does it exalt the name of Jesus or does it exalt you? You know, sometimes you have to be careful. Now, what was the agenda of Satan with this lady? I'll tell you. She was the prophet. You understand what I'm saying now? You know, of course, she, you know, you know, Paul, what did Paul do? Paul rebuked the spirit to come out of her in the name of Jesus and the spirit came out of her. Now the Bible says she had, she had people she was making money for through her act. So she was prophesying to people and, and she, if for them to be giving her money then some of those things must have been coming to pass. So can the devil, oh of course. Don't be deceived. The fact that someone prophesied to you doesn't necessarily mean it is God. So what's the plan? The plan was this. Paul, these men have come into town and they are going to shake tables. They are going to turn things upside. They are going to turn people's heart to God. So, but they are not going to be here forever, right? Yes. So what do we do now? Let's not fight them. Let's just give them access. In fact, let us be the prophets to forerun their coming. 
And they began to prophesy. She began to prophesy. These are the men. These are the men. Do you know the reason? When Paul had finished all their work and they leave town, now that's when she will begin to operate. So how will she operate? She will begin to say, didn't I tell you they were going to do all these things? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Come and listen to me, oh, Jerry. And they were like, ah, she actually, I mean, we have a prophet here now. We have a prophet. Then all the work that Paul and Silas must have done in that land would have come to naught. Why? Because Satan would have come as the administrator. I told you guys they were going to do this, right? Yes, we told us. Now, listen to me. If I can tell you that they are true, it means what I'm going to tell you next is true. Do you get the picture? So it's not about what they said. It's about the end result. See, what, where, where you hear every prophecy, listen for the instruction. That's what I tell people. When the Holy Spirit is telling my son, I will bless you. I will prosper you. Eh, amen. No. Be smart. Listen for instruction. That's when you will differentiate whether it's right or wrong. Someone finished prophesying and telling you stuff and say, this is what you're going to do. You will go and kill three goats and one chicken. And when you raise it up and shake it like this, now you just know that that is not God speaking. Praise God. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. See, Paul had to operate by the spirit of discernment to tell that that lady wasn't of God. And how did he, is it that Paul had a special gift? No, it's simple. The Holy Spirit told him that's not of God. And then when he rebuked that spirit and came out, everyone was like, Whoa! What did she do wrong? She wasn't speaking by the Spirit of God. Many times people have been led astray by such things. Like I said, the commands and instructions is where you are held captive. Someone comes to you and says, oh, you're going to be this. Maybe the president of your nation. Maybe the governor of your state. Maybe this is, oh, praise God, praise God. I've been having that thought in my heart. I've even seen a dream. I've had a dream concerning it. Say, yes. Go and do this, go and do this, go and do this, go and do this. Oh, yeah, and we do it. The instruction, does it work out the righteousness of God? Does it demand faith from you? If it doesn't demand faith from you, forget it, that is not of God. That's a demon. Someone speaking by the, by the demon spirit. And, and, oh. mm. May the Lord help you. I wanted to say something, but I just realized I won't have the time to explain it. Praise God. <sighs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hmm. So, diverse kinds of tongues and then interpretation of tongues. Special blessing that you need to have. What's diverse kinds of tongues? You speak, you know, you know, you see, when you speak in tongues, now we all are supposed to be speaking in tongues. Everybody that have received the Holy Ghost, everybody that has become born again, you ought to speak in tongues. Jesus said this is now now I want you to get something. Jesus said this sign shall follow them that believe. And one of the signs he said is that they will speak in tongues. Now what does that tell? Are you born again? Yes. Oh let's pray in tongues. Uh, I don't know how to pray in tongues. I'm supposed to ask you again. Are you sure you're born again? Oh, yes, because Jesus, you know, you know, Jesus was giving the disciples that instruction. He says, go and preach. Anyone who believes and is baptized shall be saved. And anyone who believes and shall be there. Now, these are the signs for you to know the ones that have believed. So it's not something say, Holy Spirit, pray for the signs. Oh, God, give me the signs of the belief. No, if you have believed, I'll look and I'll say, oh, oh. Ah, this guy has believed. He's believed. He's believed. Now I can share the testimony that he believed. See, that's one of it. You know, sometimes people go, eh, eh, why are we stressing on tongue? Why, why, why would not talk about take off serpent? Do the easy one first. Praise God. I mean, why are you having a problem with doing the easy one? Speak in tongues. Ultras, that is the first sign actually that something is in you. Someone is speaking through you. 
because I've got to stop here. Praise God. Receive it and begin to manifest it freely in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God.